Hallelujah. Uh, before we get started this morning, I'd like us to stand for prayer. Uh, we have a special request I want everyone to, to pray for is um, Brother, sister, Brother Simon's sister, Andrea. It's what, one of the triplets, right? How about that? She has been in the hospital for a long time now with, uh, you know, cancer and has had cancer surgeries. And, and um, so she needs intervention for God. And I know that God can comfort, strengthen, heal. He'll do whatsoever he pleases because he's in control. And so let's just have a special prayer for her um, this morning. And also, if you could remember the Norris family. The Norris family, a lot of people know them from the UPC organization. But, but, but she, um, uh, but Brittany's family is related to the Norris family, and, and the, the minister that married them uh, passed away uh, just this week too. They're they're gone to, to, to uh, Texas for the holiday to be with their family because she doesn't get to see them much. She, she, I tell her she's my little Ruth. She left all of her her relatives and come up here. I said you're, you're my little Ruth. But anyway. Um, but uh, her, um, he had, he just fell out right in his home, and no, they couldn't resuscitate him in time, and basically was brain dead. So they need encouragement and comfort. Uh, if you can remember the Norris family that lost uh, lost their relatives, and S sister, you have a request. Sister Creeth. Okay, she's she needs prayer, sister. She has a procedure that. She has some kind of procedure down on her jaw or something. That's my other one. I need a battery. But anyway, let's just let's just stand and pray and believe together that God will intervene because we know He hears and answers. Father, we worship you today in the beauty of your holiness. Hallelujah, you are holy, Jesus. You are true, you are righteous, and you are our healer, our keeper, our comfort, our strength, our peace, and our joy today. So I pray that you'll send the word, God, that heals to Andrea. That you'll yes, send God, comfort and peace to her Jesus, that only you can give her. Wrap your arms around her with your love and sustain them. Sustain the Norris family. Put your arms around them. Love them. Let them be encouraged. And we thank you for eternal life that Tim Norris has entered into. We're thankful, God, that he had that place with you, Hallelujah. that he could be with you, Lord. We pray for comfort for the family, Lord, and through their yes, grieving God, process, Lord, you. but we know that we don't have to grieve like others that have no hope because we always have hope in you. I pray, Father, that you will minister to Sister Creed, bring a quick recovery from the procedures that she's had on in her jaws, that you will bring healing to her, strength to her, comfort, Jesus, and peace to her that only you can bring, that only you can give. And I thank you today and for all things, Lord. Every day I thank you and praise you, Lord. And we ask for these favors and blessings in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come and let us sing unto the Lord and let us make a joyful noise to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving mm. and make a joyful noise unto him with, song, with psalms. For the Lord, he is a great God and a great king above all gods. Hallelujah. I thank you today. Mm -hmm. I will enter his gates with thanksgiving in my heart.
Now this morning before I left the house, I felt God speak this scripture to me and I'm like, you know, if you spoke that to me right now, I'm going to read that today. Hallelujah. And it was in uh, 1 Kings. What he actually said, how, how long are you going to alter between two opinions? And I'm like, oh. So I looked that up and it's here in 1 Kings. I don't think we have anybody to put, the, put it up, but I'll read it for you. And Elijah came into all the people and said, how long will you halter between two opinions? If the Lord be God, then follow him. But if Baal, then follow him. But the people answered not a word. They didn't even have a yes or a no. They didn't even answer him. So Elijah said to the people, I only I remain a prophet of the Lord. But Baal's prophets here are 450 men. So the story goes on where Baal, or uh, Elijah said, I'll, I'll challenge you. You know, you call on the name of your God. You, you get your sacrifice ready. You get it prepared. And you call on the name of the Lord your God. Because today we're going to see who is. Let's have a contest. Who is the true God? Mm. And Elijah, so, so they, they dressed their bull up. They laid it on the wood. And there was no fire under it. And so Elijah's like, um, I'll call on the name. And you call on the name of your God's. And I'll call on the name of my God. And the God that answers by fire, let him be the true God. And all the people answered and said, that's well spoken. Well, at least he got an answer out of them. And Elijah said to the prophets, go ahead, choose it. You go first. Dress your bull up, put it on there, get it ready. But put no fire under it. So they dressed it and called on the name of Baal. Morning, lunchtime. They said, morning until even noon, saying, oh, Baal, hear us. But there was no voice, no one that answered. And they leaped upon the altar. They jumped upon it, crying out unto him. But you know, it's just like the psalmist said. They make gods unto themselves, and they have ears, but they can't hear. They have eyes, they can't see. They have a mouth, but they can't speak through it. So they can't answer you. And they cried aloud and even then cut themselves with knives and with, and with lancets till the blood gushed out upon them. But here they had to offer some blood to their God. But my God, he sacrificed himself and shed his blood for me. And that's a different kind of God. We're serving a true God. They're serving false gods. And when it came to pass, when midday was past, they prophesied until the evening sacrifice time. And there was ne not even a voice. No one answered the, from the prophets of Baal. So now the Lord's like, Elijah, it's my turn. It's my turn now. And so he dressed his bull up, had it ready, got it prepared. And he said, hey, come and douse it down with water. They filled, poured water and said, do it again. Poured more water on it. it Third time, pour water on there again. You know, I think it wouldn't have mattered if the thing was flooded and water was standing. It wasn't going to matter. And so it came time for the sacrifice, and, and now it was God's turn. I'm so thankful that when we decide we're going to let God just do what he's going to do, when we quit haltering between two opinions and just make up our mind, I'm going to trust God. No matter what, I'm going to trust him. Hallelujah. It didn't look like there was absolutely no way for that fire to come down. But we just got to make up our mind. Don't halter between two opinions. Don't go back and forth. Just trust God. And so Elijah says, hear me, O Lord. Hear me that this people may know that you are the Lord God. Yes, yes, and yes. that you have, that has turned their hearts back against you. Oh, glory. Then the fire of the Lord fell. And it consumed and burnt the sacrifice and the wood and the stones and the dust and licked up all the water all that was in the trench. And when all the people saw it, they fell on their faces and said, The Lord, He is God. The Lord, He is God. Hallelujah. I believe that today. Jesus, He is the Lord of Lords. He has done so much for me. He has done great things. Oh, bless the Lord, oh my soul, all that is within me. Let me never forget His benefits. He has forgiven all of my sin. He's healed all my disease. He has turned my mourning into song, into dancing. He's changed my darkness into light. He, oh God, daily owes me his benefits Jesus. of peace. Hallelujah. And I thank him 
I worship him. He is my final answer today. Let the God of the true God, he isn't just a God, he is the true God. Holy and I love him today. That's why I say yes to him and because I love him. He is the only true God. Oh, I love you. Lord, I love you. Oh, I love you, Lord, today.
prayers are praying. Oh, yes, it is. And it's ringing.